Alright, after the download installation went well, let's continue on what is next. With Android Studio we developed apps for several types of devices such as smartphones and tablets. Knowing that during the development phase, we need to run the app and display results, follow up the progress of the app and fix errors, and so on. So, we need a kind of device that play the same role as a real device. This device is called an emulator or AVD. In other words, an emulator is a tool that simulate the real device capabilities. To create an AVD, go ahead and select the menu tools, then click AVD manager. The AVD main screen pops up. When you hit the button create virtual device, this leads you to the screen that shows several hardware categories, such as TV, wear, phone and tablet. Select for example Nexus 5X phone and click the button next to continue with system image screen. Notice that system image is the operating system used for the emulator. In the recommended tab, Android suggests downloading the latest system images such as API 27, Oreo or Nougat. However, you are not required to download them. You can choose other system images according to your development goals. For instance, if your operating system target is Android 5.1, select x86 images tab, scroll down in the list until you find lollipop release that correspond to API 22 x86 underscore 64. Then, click the link Download. As you see, Android is downloading the corresponding release. Wait few minutes until the operating system is completely downloaded. Select Lollipop, then click the button next to continue. After that, you name to AVD to Nexus 5X for example and click the button finish. Now the AVD is ready to use. Hit the icon run to launch it. Perfect! Android operating system Lollipop 5.1 is started on the emulator Nexus 5X. All you have to do is to run an app on it. So. Go ahead the icons bar of Android IDE, then hit the icon run. A screen of a list of emulators pops up. Select the emulator Nexus 5X and click the button OK. Next, and only for one time, accept to install Instant Run and click Finish. For more detail about Instant Run feature, please take a look at the document sheet attached to this lecture. Congratulations! The app runs successfully on the emulator and it shows Hello World text. If you desire run your app on a real device, you need to install the corresponding driver. To do that, follow please the instructions sheet attached to this lecture. That's all about creating and running an app on Android virtual device. Any questions or issues arise, let me know. With that, thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next lecture.